The FMA IA-37 was an ambitious Argentine aircraft project developed during the 1950s under the direction of German engineer Reimar Horton. Following the cancellation of his earlier flying wing concepts in 1951, Horton began work on the IA-37 around 1952 as part of Argentina's post-war push to build an independent aerospace industry. The aircraft was designed as a single-engine jet fighter with a delta wing, tailless flying wing structure. Engine air inlets were mounted laterally on each side of the nose. The first test phase included wind tunnel experiments in 1953 and scale model testing at speeds up to 200 km per hour. A full-scale wooden glider prototype made its maiden flight on October 1, 1954. The pilot flew in a prone position beneath a transparent nose cone, an unconventional but aerodynamically efficient configuration. Performance was reported as excellent. A powered prototype using a Rolls-Royce Derwent turbojet began construction in 1955. Though underpowered for combat, the engine was chosen for availability. In 1956, the glider was retrofitted with a conventional cockpit, signaling a shift in purpose. The program split in two. The IAE-37 evolved into a subsonic trainer, while a new twin-engine supersonic variant, the IAE-48, was conceived to reach Mach 2.2. However, both projects were canceled in 1960 due to budget cuts, just one year before the IAE-37 was scheduled to fly. Constructed primarily of wood, the IA-37 demonstrated Argentina's capacity to engineer complex aircraft using limited resources. The wooden structure reduced costs and weight but posed durability challenges. The glider featured a high glide ratio and excellent maneuverability, making it a capable training platform. Its tailless design, however, required specialized pilot training due to unconventional handling. The IAA-37 was more than a prototype. It symbolized Argentina's determination to innovate independently. The project provided hands-on experience for local engineers and technicians, laying the groundwork for future aviation developments. Horton's influence helped cultivate a design culture focused on aerodynamic efficiency and unorthodox solutions. Despite never achieving flight in its jet-powered form, the IA-37 had a lasting impact on Argentine aviation. It contributed to technical knowledge, inspired future aircraft concepts, and demonstrated that Argentina could develop aircraft that pushed the limits of conventional design. The IA-37 remains a significant milestone in the nation's aerospace history.